So thank you again and welcome. I am here today to talk about Kappa and what Kappa can do for you and how we are here to support you with your journey in international education and study abroad. So just a little bit of background around me, I have been working in study abroad for the past 10 years. I've worked you know, with various institutions around the world to really help support students in their journeys when it comes to understanding what study abroad is, the benefits, the advantages, and how really to navigate the system um, of study abroad, which can be very complicated. So hopefully today's presentation, which I'm hoping to keep short so I can give you some time to ask questions, um, will give you some insight into what study abroad is and, and how Kappa plays a role into that. So first, let's start, about, start talking about Kappa and, and who Kappa is and why Kappa would be an amazing choice for a study abroad organization, or sorry, for a study abroad um, program. So first, Kappa has been around for over 40 years. We've worked with you know, thousands of students to send them abroad and hundreds of institutions um, in the US to really work to make sure our students and our partners are being supported. So what does that mean for you in terms of Kappa and, and choosing Kappa programming? So Kappa is very much here to support you with a very personalized pre-departure and on-site support process. Um, Everything we do is personalized to you, to your needs and what you're looking for, whether it's you know, study programs, internship programs, whatever that might look like. Um, beyond that, our programs are very inclusive when it comes to what they are offering you. So for example, we have activities, we have housing, we have excursions, the academics, you know, on-site support, emergency support, orientations, everything that we do is really included in all of our program packaging to really make sure you have an amazing experience start to finish. And beyond that, one of the biggest, I think, misconceptions about study abroad is that, oh, I'm going to go to Barcelona to have some fun and, and that's all I'm doing and or that it's not going to be beneficial to my professional experiences or to my academic experiences. And Kappa really, really emphasizes the importance of you know, learning objectives when it comes to our coursework and all of our activities and our learning objectives and our outcomes really focus on you know, understanding the global environment that you're in, um, the urban environment, you know, social dynamics within the space that you're gonna be functioning in and, and studying in, and how that plays into the diversity of these global cities that you're really going to be experiencing if you go on to a capital program. So those are all really, really important and they're all ingrained into the way capital works and into the way our programs are structured. So, you know, we talk about those outcomes and we talk about study abroad and how important it is, but one of the other big things I want to make sure we focus on is also that study abroad and, and campus programming really is meant to be here as a professional and professional development opportunity for you. So this, these opportunities are going to be, are going to contain things like networking, you know, ability to get global perspectives, cultural awareness, you know, help you understand um, your organization skills, uh, manage your time, prioritize, you know, where you're going to be, when you're going to be um, within a context of a different culture, right? So you're going to have to be adaptable. You're going to have to problem solve um, and set goals. And all of these things are really meant to support you as you grow as a professional and as you grow personally in the space of becoming a global citizen and understanding the world around you. So while we have those kind of more academic, you know, goals and objectives for you, we also have this professional and personal development space that we really do focus on and I think is one of Kappa's biggest strengths. So what does this all mean in terms of the context of Kappa? So Kappa has what we call global cities. These cities are centers in terms of, you know, economics, business, culture, politics, um, and we have programming that's both online and in person. And the goal for us is to really provide you an immersive experience in these cities. So what are these cities? What do they look like? And, and, and where can you go really with Kappa? Um, as of right now, we have programming in Barcelona, um, Dublin, Florence, London, and Sydney. So those are five amazing locations that you have access to currently um, as a student. Um, and during this time, of course, with, with the pandemic and everything else that's going on. Um, and these are spaces in which we have decided it is, you know, beneficial for you to be in. And, you know, will we have the support? We have centers that are really there to help support you in your experience at Kappa and abroad in general. Okay, so beyond that, we have our global cities, right? You have these cities that you can potentially go to. So what does programming look like in those cities? So we have both semester programs and summer programs. So when you're looking at, you know, spring 22, summer 22, uh, 
22 as well as fall 22, right? There's various options and there are various lengths. So you can go for a longer period of time if you wanna go for a whole semester, or we have summer programs that are you know anywhere between four weeks to six weeks to eight weeks. It, it really just depends on what you're looking for and the program that's the best fit for you. And within these programs, we have academic concentrations if that's something you're interested in. So for example, say you don't wanna just take some classes that you know are being offered at Kappa, but you really wanna focus on a specific area. So we have like, for example, criminal justice focus um, programming. We have a global business institute. It really helps you focus on the business aspect of, um, of a seed that you're gonna be going to. And all of these spaces are going to really help you understand not only the country you're in, but also be able to bring that back and apply it to the majors that you're studying and really make yourself into a global citizen. So that's the Kappa Global City space. Um, we also have what we call direct enroll programs. Direct enroll programs are programs in which for the student who is a little bit more independent and wants to, you know, I wanna to go to Dublin and I wanna enroll directly into an Irish university, or I want to enroll in a Spanish university um, in Barcelona. We have uh, partnerships with local institutions where you can directly enroll um, into that institution and take classes at that institution's campus versus the global cities programs, which is where you're really taking classes with um, other students that are, are coming to these, country, these countries with you from your school or from other schools and are taking classes at our center. So we have like entire campuses, quote unquote campuses, like think of a campus, campus so to speak, where you can take classes versus the direct enroll option, which you would be taking a, um, classes on a campus at the local um, university. And there's a little bit, again, more independence there. So it, it, you know, depending on what kind of support you would look you're looking for, um, the Kappa Global City program might be a better fit or the direct enroll program might be a better fit. Um, and there's lots of options in both spaces. And then we also have internships. So this includes in-person internships and remote internships. And I'll talk a little bit more about internships in a little bit, but I, I do wanna make sure I highlight that um, in addition to the coursework that we offer, we also offer this um, very focused professional development opportunity that you can take advantage of. Okay, so we've talked about cities, we've talked about you know, some of the courses that you can take and which again are a wide variety from language courses to business to, to finance to you know, local culture, whatever it might be. You can really pretty much find a course that makes sense for you in any of our locations and any of the different types of programs that we have. What else do we have beyond that? So when you're looking at our program with Kappa um, and what it includes, um, the tuition for the courses is included. Um, if you decide to take an internship, that's a part of the programming as well, it's optional. Um, housing is included. We also have a public transit pass that we make sure you have so that way you can access the city and you know, we teach you how to do that. So we really walk you through that process. Um, we also make sure we give you a full orientation to the city as well as the program. It can be very daunting to go to a completely different country, let alone a completely different city and, and, and school and academic space, right? So we really help set you up with the appropriate information and you know guidelines to really help you explore the city in a safe way um, and really be able to understand what the major um, areas and history and culture of that city are. Um, and that also ties into social events, right? So when you're abroad, you wanna make sure you're connecting with students. You wanna make sure that you are having a, a social experience that's both you know, um, cultural and understanding the local, again, history and, and, and economics and, and tying back into those um, you know, objectives and goals that we have for you. Um, so there's gonna be tons of events. Um, we have what we call My Global City Cultural Events, which again, are gonna help you understand what where you fit into the context of these cities that you're in and how those cities fit into the larger concept of, um, of the globe and the world and, and whatnot. Um, emergency support, that's really important. Um, you know, as you know, we're, we're living in unprecedented times right now and Kappa is here to support you and, and whatever that looks like. Um, you know, whether it's you have a cold and you need to go to the doctor or, you know, you know whatever it might look like, we're really here and it's gonna be 24 seven. So you have that support, you're not gonna be alone. Insurance is another big thing that we have as a part of our programming, or sorry, as a part of our inclusions um, to make sure you are covered in, in any case. Um, and in, in the instance that you need something, like I mentioned, a you know, cold or along those lines. Um, and again, pre-departure and on-site staff support. So a lot of you may not have left the country before or let alone like left your state before, right? So 
and it can be very daunting. So our pre-departure staff, myself included, is really, really here to help walk you through what that looks like. What does it mean to have a visa? What does it mean to get a passport? What does it mean to like fly to an airport, uh, fly to a you know whole different country by yourself? Um, what does immigration look like in those countries? Um, so we're really here to help you through that space before you leave, but also once you're in country. So once you're in London or in Florence or Barcelona, um, we have staff there that can is going to be available to you at all times to really be able to answer any questions that you might have around. You know, how do I say this in this question in this language, or how do I access this information, or how do I get to so and so's place, or whatever it might be? Right. It's again a full package of support for you to make sure you feel safe, you feel comfortable, and you feel supported um, while you are, you know, learning a new city and and learning more about yourself as you're growing in that space. Okay, so internships. Um, stepping a little bit away from more of the academic focus. Um, like I mentioned, we have remote and in-person internships. And our programming also in general is remote as well as in-person. And I completely believe whether you're doing an internship you know, abroad or you're doing one locally, internships are so important when it comes to understanding what kind of career path you want to explore. And you really don't know if you like something or not until you've actually done it. So I always tell everybody, I don't care if you're a freshman or a senior, do an internship, wherever that might be. Um, so our programming allows that. You have the option of doing an internship. And we have, again, over 25 years of experience placing students in internships abroad, um, over 3,000 organizations, you know, all sorts of industries, thousands of students placed every year. Um, and again, there's intentionality with our programming to make sure that it's not just a random internship that you're doing. You are really going to be in a space where you are learning and doing project-based work in an industry that you're interested in. So that's where this course comes into play. So along with every internship, we have this internship course, which really helps you understand and have the support around the industry you're, you're working in. So you have the internship placement, which is typically about 20 hours a week. We have what we call master classes, so like TED Talks to really help you um, learn practical skills and um, learn from the professionals, the local professionals, right? Because Think about business in London versus business in Florence versus business in, you know, in America. It's going to be very different depending on what city you're in. So these TED Talks are really going to help you focus and learn um, about specific themes in the area um, in the space of professional development. Um, mentoring, that's really, really important um, in all aspects of your life. I've had amazing mentors that have really, really guided me in, in my journey. And we, as a part of our internship course, we want to make sure you feel supported during your internship. So have someone to talk to about like, hey, my supervisor, you know, wants me to do this project, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. Or, you know, this other teammate said this to me and I felt uncomfortable. So how do you navigate these professional experiences and these professional environments when you don't really have as much experience? Or even if you do have experience, I've been in the industry for over a decade now and I still have moments where I'm like, I don't really know how to do this. So having that support, um, whether it's in a group setting or one-on-one -on -one is really and we really emphasize that in, in the, the internship space for our students and then we're career workshops so these are going to be practical workshops around interviewing and you know um resume building and, and, and networking you have this internship now you have or you have this study right experience how do you bring that back to the states and move forward how do you really you know um move forward in your career and be able to articulate the skills that you've learned um, a lot of people struggle with, you know, oh yeah, I did an internship in London and I, you know, I was in marketing. And then when they ask, okay, well, what skills did you learn? Like, oh, marketing skills. That's not going to be the best answer when you're interviewing, right? So how do you actually articulate those skills and how can you talk about those experiences? That's where this course really, really comes into play um, around making sure you have that. So in terms of placements, uh, and when I say placements, I mean like your actual internship. What does that look like? Um, all of our cities have a wide variety of internships and they range from startups to, you know, um, local organizations, national, multinational companies, um, private, public, you know, NGOs, it's, it's really a range. And in terms of industries that you can work in, it's really going to be up to you to decide. You are going to tell us what your areas of interest are, what kind of career you want to explore, and we work with you to make sure you are placed in an, in, uh, in an organization that really matches those needs and your skill sets. 
characteristics. So for example, if you are a first year engineering student and you know haven't taken many engineering classes, then maybe doing an engineering internship might not be um, the first thing that comes up because you haven't quite gotten the academic or the, the basic skills. But um, then let's look at alternatives, right? So maybe you wanna work, do something that's more, you know, project management related because you know when you go into your career later it's going to that project management experience is going to help you towards that engineering degree or whatever it might be so we have a trained team on the ground um, that is going to be helping you understand what it's going to be like to really be getting um, an internship and what that sector looks like in the country you're going to uh, you'll have you know have to submit a resume and an, you know, an application in that sense um, we'll prep with you in terms of mock interviews and then you will have to interview with an organization. But placements are guaranteed. So if you go the internship route, you will have an internship with us as long as. And then scholarships. Funding is a big deal, right? And I didn't go over costs on this. Uh, I'm not, and I'm not going to do in general because costs vary from programming to programming, from city to city. Um, you can uh, you can pay anywhere from like eight thousand dollars for a shorter program to much more for a semester long program, right? So it really, really depends. Um, so the website's gonna be the best place to check that out. But in general, funding is important. We have scholarships. We have lots and lots of scholarships as students you know, think, oh, I'm not gonna get it. You know, There's so much competition, I'm just not gonna apply. But there are so many options, 100% you should apply. We have need-based scholarships. We have um, grants for universities that are affiliated with us. We have what's called a blog and a blog grant, which is basically if you are willing to to be in London and be blogging or doing videos for us, you know, and to talking about your journey, then you'll get money for that. Or a diversity advocates program, which is really if you're if you have a project or some sort of diversity initiative that you want to work on um, while you're abroad, then you can get funding for that. Um, there's there's lots of scholarships on our website, and I really really hope that you're able to look at that and access it. And then also talk to your own financial aid office, right, and, and your own institution to see what can happen um, and what other resources that they might have, because I never want funding to be or the reason we don't go abroad, because there are ways to get funding. Okay, that is the end of my official presentation. Um, and I do want to throw a caveat out there in that all this information is here and it's, you know, on our website, but also it's important that you talk to your study abroad offices. Your study abroad office on campus will have more information, more details, and really be able to walk you through what the academic ramifications of study abroad are for you, what the financial aid space looks like for you, um, and how they can support you there. So it's, I highly, highly recommend talking to your study abroad office. Um, again, it can be very daunting, it can be very scary, but we are here for you. you know, that's the Kappa team, that's your team on campus, and we really hope that you know, you're able to take advantage of this opportunity. And if not with Kappa, with somebody, right? Take advantage of the opportunity to, to go abroad and, and to learn more about yourself and to grow as an individual and to really um, explore the world um, around you.